So a lot of people are put off doing things through fear. So I often get asked the question, how can I be more courageous? Well, I'm going to give you some answers and take some from this book here. So on the topic of courage, I'm actually a published author, a best-selling author in fact, because I was part of this uh, book uh, a couple of years back and my chapter was all about courage and I share some stories from my life and, and give you quite a few uh, pointers within the book of how you can develop courage as well. So the book's called Where's My Lemonade? Um, should be available on Amazon. And um, Here's the thing about courage. Here's what I want you to know, because a lot, a lot of things that I couldn't include in the book because it was only one chapter. So here's what you need to know about courage. Courage isn't just for certain people. We all have courage. It's just that it's inside us and we decide whether or not we want to apply it. So it isn't actually something we get. We've already got it. We've already got it. Courage is a choice. It's where we make a decision. And that decision is, am I going to give in to fear or am I going to be courageous? And there's lots of different types of courage. You know, there's the, the, the courage uh, to, to do something that we're particularly fearful of. You know, this could be, um, this could be um, abseiling or, you know, skydiving. There's kind of those courage. It could be courage for you to um, stick up for yourself to you know not give in to bullies that that could be uh, a courage a form of courage uh the courage to be authentic and, and to live a life true to yourself not a life that other people are trying to dictate on to you so there's lots of different categories of courage and types of courage etc but it all basically comes down to this it's the choice within you it's the choice within you so yes we can use techniques you know when i'm working with my my clients i use techniques to get rid of fear uh, to identify limiting beliefs and and change those beliefs and change people's mindset yes we do all that and that can allow you then if, you, if you've got rid of all that stuff well yeah you, you can you can carry on and, and you, you you can you know to take actions you wanted to get to but courage is often about actually when you feel that fear when you have those worries it's still overcoming it that is what it's actually about so when you experience those things it's then feeling it and doing it anyway you know taking the action anyway or not taking the action if that is the, the the courageous act so it's expanding your comfort zone so you have that choice and that's the first thing you know it, it sounds kind of simple but that is the first thing acknowledging that it is within your power acknowledging that you yes you do have a choice you do have a choice and that's very empowering it's very liberating and here's some of the other things i said about in the book um you know, awareness is a key thing. So I said about the importance of awareness, being aware of what's going on in your mindset, what's holding you back, what is making you procrastinate, what is stopping you from taking the action that you should be taking. Awareness is key. So I talk about that. Giving yourself permission to be courageous. So if you know that the courage is within you, then give yourself permission to be courageous, to apply that courage, to take the next steps, to be the person that you could be and you can be and you are truly give yourself permission for that i said about the process of journaling you know journaling the situations where you have applied courage in the past situations where you could apply courage situations where you haven't applied courage you know exploring that journaling it oh and you know then looking to make changes so that you can apply that courage i spoke about having the importance of a future vision and also we can get driven by a purpose we get pulled by a purpose so if you've got a strong purpose a strong vision you've got clarity in that you know what your values are then you will get pulled in that way and therefore you can overcome those fears and, and, and you know, your courage, you will, you will be able to, to be courageous and take those courageous steps. How about a supportive environment around you? Because, you know, if you want to be courageous, if you're hanging around people who are all, all negative and pessimistic and are very anti-courage, 
and they're going to put you down and not support you, guess what? It's harder for you to then be, be courageous because we don't like to be different to other people. So again, hang around people that share similar values, people that want to grow, people want to expand, and they're more likely to help you and assist you, pull you, push you, move you along so that you apply more courage. So there's just a few pointers for you today. I know I can absolutely 100% say that in my life, when I've shown courage, when I've applied courage, it has enhanced my relationships with people, it's enhanced my own personal development and my spirituality. It has enhanced my wealth. It's enhanced my business. It's enhanced my health. It's enhanced all areas of my life when I've actually applied courage. So go out there and be courageous. Thanks for watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video. And also, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Now, if you'd like any help with what we've discussed in this video or any other related topic, then feel free to get in contact with me using the details on the screen. And here's another video that you might like to watch now. And until next time, unleash your inner anthem.